LIDAR, what is it? Uh, it stands for Light Detection and Ranging. For those who are unfamiliar, uh, it is an acronym. Uh, but in recent times, the USGS has really been promoting the fact that it is a common noun. It's gone along the, the same route as sonar or radar. And it's just a word that you can use that everyone knows does some form of remote sensing uh, technology and can identify objects through the technology itself. It is an active sensor that will use light in the form of a pulsed laser to emit laser beams and then measure the earth uh, that it flies over in terms of airborne. Uh, basically, it is a very highly advanced rangefinder that is emitting, at this time, millions of pulses a second to measure everything from trees, buildings, ground, uh, and even now getting into water and below water to get kind of that seafloor observation. You combine the technology with your GPS, GNSS, and IMU sensors or inertial measurement units, the same thing that you have in your phone to tell you which direction you're going or how you're playing your video games on an app, but at a very higher uh, scale. And that combines into a three-dimensional point cloud that allows us to basically, at a high density, walk through the Earth in a digital form the same way that you would in a uh, video game or some sort of simulation, VR, augmented reality. And that can be mounted on anything from an airplane to a truck to a train. You can put them on tripods. Uh, and even uh, in more recent times, the, the big buzzword has always been UAB. You can put them on small scale and it's becoming a much more uh, consumer grade product where it's not just available to those who have uh, millions of dollars and a large aircraft to mount it in to go and fly a large area. You take all the data that comes back and the thing that makes LIDAR so interesting as opposed to just capturing imagery uh, or just capturing some form of a satellite and pulling sources down is with LIDAR, you're able to see more than what you can see with the eye. Uh, what I mean by that is in terms of vegetation, especially when you get into forestry, wetland areas, uh, you can get pulses through the, the vegetation itself. It penetrates the canopy uh, with multiple echoes or returns of that light beam so that it gets the top of the tree, it gets in between the tree, and it gets all the way down to the ground so that you, you don't just get that, uh, that surface. You get everything down from bare earth up to the surface, which allows you to do so much more from an analytical perspective. You get a better picture of what's going on in your vegetated areas. And that translates to every kind of land cover, whether or not that's urban, suburban, completely rural, or your forest tracks. It allows so much more to happen when combined with other technologies like your imagery to where you can get an even bigger scope or a larger swath of information for any kind of project.